Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with another Wi-Fi battle. Exciting day today because, as promised, I do have a new team for you guys. Only one of these Pokemon is a throwback. That is the Noivern from ORAS. The rest of the team are brand new Pokemon that I've never used before, and I decided that I wanted a change of pace for this team, which is why I decided to build it lower tier. I figured it would give me a chance to use a few Pokemon that I wouldn't normally use in the higher tiers which I normally play. So, as is always the case, I put a lot of thought and effort into designing this team and I am really excited to see how this team in particular does in battle. So, having said all of that, our first match with the team today is going to be against Christian. And as you can see, he has a very powerful looking team there. So, it should definitely be a good match and we're going to get into it. So, looking at his team, I was thinking he was probably going to want to lead with the Lycanroc uh, to get the entry hazard set up early, so I decided to lead with my Blastoise Leonardo, as he does end up leading off with the Lycanroc Midnight form. So, I am just going to go straight for the Mega Evolution into Mega Blastoise. And I'm going to outspeed him here. I am just going to go for a Scald, trying to take him out in one shot. It does drop him down to his Focus Sash, but he does survive because of it. And he actually goes for a Counter, which was a bit of a surprise to me. I guess he was anticipating me to be a physical set, but I am not, so not going to do anything. So this turn, he does just go for the Stealth Rock to get the Entry Hazard set up on me. I am just going to fire off one more Scald, and that is going to be more than enough to finish off the Lycanroc and drop him down to five Pokemon. So then he is going to come in with Zerkatry. And I'm going to go for the switch here. I don't want to get taken out with an electric attack. So I'm going to come in with my Electivire, the Yeti, to try and absorb that. I'm going to take some damage from the rocks. But he actually decides to go straight for the Z-move instead. And that turns out to be the Psychic Z-move which is going to be actually the Z-Hypnosis, but he actually does miss that, so that was pretty lucky on my side, so he's not going to be able to set up on me like he wants to. He is going to go for the Grass Knot this turn, since he does outspeed me. That is going to take me down to about a quarter of my health, but I do survive. Go for the Earthquake in return, and that is going to be enough to one-shot kill the Zerkatry and drop him down to four Pokemon, and I am going to get knocked down into the red thanks to my Life Orb recoil. So, then he is going to come in with Aegislash. I know it is uber, but what are you going to do? So, he is going to get the stance change to change into blade form here, which does of course mean he is going to go for the shadow sneak, and that is of course going to be enough to finish off my Electivire, dropping me down to five Pokemon. So, then I'm going to come in with my Registeel, good old Iron Man. I'm going to take some damage from the rocks, and his stance change is going to activate again, putting him back into shield form, which of course means he is going to go for the King's Shield just to scout me, see what I want to do. I kind of figured he would do that, so I decided to go for the Stealth Rock rather than an attack to get that entry hazard set up on him as well. And then I am going to regain my health with the Leftovers. So, this turn he is going to go for a Swords Dance to get that sharp attack increase, trying to set up for a potential sweep on me. I'm just going to go for the Earthquake in return to try and get as much damage as possible on this thing. That is only going to take him down by about a third. Uh, of course, this thing is uh, very defensive. And then he is going to regain some health with the Leftovers. So, this turn he is going to Stance Change once again into Blade Form. And he is actually going to go for the Sacred Sword here, which thanks to the attack increase is going to be enough to one-shot kill my Registeel and drop me down to four Pokemon, as he is going to gain even more health back with the Leftovers. So then I'm going to go ahead and come in with my Weezing Cancer, and I am going to take some damage from the Rocks. And he is just going to go for a Shadow Sneak here. I'm not exactly sure why. I guess he just wanted to get some chip damage on me. Maybe he figured I didn't have a good move for him. But I actually do carry Flamethrower, so I am just going to go for that. And that is going to be enough to take out the Aegislash, fortunately, and uh, drop him down to three Pokemon, as I am going to regain uh, some more health with the Black Sludge. 
So then he is going to come in with Swampert and take some damage from the rocks. And I'm just going to go for a Toxic here, and I'm going to land that to badly poison him. I uh, just wanted to try and uh, get this thing worn down. He is actually going to go for the Avalanche in return, uh, which was a bit of a surprise. Um, that is going to knock me down to about a third health, and then I am going to regain more health with the Black Sludge, as he is going to take some damage from the poison. So this turn he is going to go for the Stone Edge. And that is going to knock me all the way down into the red, but I do survive with 13 health and go for a sludge bomb in return. Just try and get some chip damage on this thing, not wanting to risk a switch as uh, he is going to take some more damage from the poison. And I'm going to regain health with the black sludge, but it's definitely not going to be enough to survive another attack. He is going to go for the waterfall this turn, and that is going to be more than enough to finish off my wheezing, dropping me down to three Pokemon as he is going to take more damage from the poison. So... Then I'm going to come in with Noivern Sonic, and I'm going to take some damage from the rocks. I'm going to outspeed this thing, of course. I'm just going to go straight for a Boom Burst, which is going to be more than enough to finish off the Swampert, dropping him down to two Pokemon. So, then he is going to come in with Metagross, and take some damage from the rocks. And that is going to force me to switch. I am actually Choice Specs locked into Boom Burst. So I'm going to switch in with my Blastoise and take some damage from the rocks. As he is actually going to go for the Mega Evolution into Mega Metagross. And again, I know it's Uber, but again, what are you going to do? So he is going to go for the Ice Punch here, actually hoping I would stay in. So not going to do much of anything to the Blastoise, which is nice. So this turn, he is going to go for the Zen Headbutt, trying to get as much damage as possible. That is going to knock me down into the red, but I do survive with 34 health and fire off a Dark Pulse in return. Unfortunately, it is not quite enough to take this thing out, as it is going to go for another Zen Headbutt this turn, which is going to be more than enough to finish off my Blastoise, dropping me down to two Pokemon as well. So, then I am going to come in with my Kecleon, the Karma Chameleon. I am going to take some damage from the rocks, and he is actually going to go for the switch here, uh, which was a bit of a surprise. I don't know if he was anticipating the uh, Sucker Punch or not, but he is going to come in with Typhlosion and take some damage from the rocks, as I do go for the Sucker Punch, so not going to do anything there. So this turn, he is definitely going to outspeed me. He is going to go for a Focus Blast, and he is going to land that, but... Uh, I am a max special defense with an assault vest, so Kecleon is going to take that like a champ. I'm going to survive with a third of my health and go for the Drain Punch in return. The Protean is going to change me to a fighting type, and I actually end up getting a crit, which was really nice. Even so, he does survive that in the red. I do regain a lot of health from that. Um, but this turn, I am just going to go for that Sucker Punch yet again, which is going to be more than enough to finish off the Typhlosion, dropping him down to just one Pokemon. So, finally, he is going to come back in with Metagross and take some more damage from the rocks. And from that health, there is no way he is going to be able to survive one more Sucker Punch, so I am just going to go for that. And that is going to be more than enough to finish off the Metagross, and that is game. So... I won that one 2-0 against Christian, but that was a very good game. Thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy, and stay tuned for more new battles in the future. So that's it, and we'll see you next time.